golf shot selection. You know, one of the most difficult things to do is to pick a shot that gives you your highest percentage chance for success. You know, like they say in Las Vegas, uh, what built these big buildings? You know, it's only a slight, the hotels only have a slight advantage. Like, it's something like 53% to 47% in terms of how, of how much difference there is between someone winning and losing. What I'm saying is, let's say you're 150 yards, middle of the fairway. The pin is in the middle of the green. What club, what ball flight, what swing thought, what gives you your highest percentage chance of let's just say hitting the ball on the green. What gives you, not what would the pros hit, what you're supposed to hit. Oh, it's 150, I should be hitting a, an eight iron, a wedge, a nine iron. What gives you your highest percentage chance? If we want to shoot low scores, the only thing that matters is where the ball ends up. Let's say it's, it's swinging easy with a six iron. Let's say it's a little, it's a punch shot. Let's say you're playing well, and it's your full swing with an eight iron or whatever. Every shot from the rough, off the tee, from the fairway, in the woods, and it's very hard to make that decision. And it doesn't mean you'll be correct. You're in the middle of the fairway, your highest percentage chance is hitting a full seven iron. But that only gives you, let's say, a 60% chance of hitting it on the green. An eight iron and swing hard might be 52%. A, uh, a, a different swing, a different club might be 50%. All you can do is use your highest percentage chance of hitting a good shot. Very difficult to know what's your highest percentage chance. Even if you know it, it's very hard to do it because you're half mentally ill because you're playing lousy golf and you think worst when you're thinking worst. But if you could think, what gives me my highest percentage chance? on a putt, on a chip, on a swing. That will lead to good shots, and good shots lead to great scores.